You know, Penny, there's something that occurs in beehives you might find interesting. Occasionally, a new queen will arrive while the old queen is still in power. When this happens, the old queen must either locate to a new hive or engage in a battle to the death until only one queen remains. What are you saying? That I'm threatened by Alicia? That I'm like the old queen of the hive and it's just time for me to go? I'm just talking about bees. <laughs> They're on the Discovery Channel. <laughs> what are you talking about? Bees. <laughs> Thanks so much for helping me, Leonard. Uh, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to help. <laughs> Uh, hey, Penny, this is Alicia, our new neighbor. Hi. Hi. I'm helping. <laughs> I can see. Alicia's non-musical, childless, and pro-rug. <laughs> She's still on probation, of course, but I like her. Cool t-shirt. Oh, yeah, I don't usually dress like this. I'm going jogging. You don't jog. I can start. <laughs> True, but the more likely explanation for your attire is that you're out of clean clothes again. Thank you, Sheldon. You're welcome, Penny. Please, you look cute. I'm dressed like a slob today, too. Uh, uh, uh. I think you look fantastic. <laughs> this one's a flare, huh? Oh, yeah, be careful. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Okay. I'll see you around. See ya. I'm dressed like a slob today, too. Oh, mimicry. So, please don't take advantage of them. Who says I'm taking advantage of them? Come on, they're doing everything for you because you're leading them on. So I let them do stuff for me. They're happy, I get stuff, who cares? I cannot believe they're letting her just use them like that. I mean, anything she wants, they go panting after her like trained dogs. You know that just last week she had Howard drive all the way to her uncle's house in Orange County to pick up her TV? This is it. I'll do the talking. Good thinking. I'll just be the muscle. <laughs> yeah? I'm Leonard. This is Sheldon. From the intercom. How the hell did you get in the building? Uh, we're scientists. <laughs> Tell them about our IQ. <laughs> Leonard. What? My mom bought me those pants. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're going to have to call her. Sheldon, I am so sorry I dragged you through this. It's okay. It wasn't my first pantsing, and it won't be my last. And you were right about my motives. I was hoping to establish a relationship with Penny that might have someday led to sex. Well, you got me out of my pants. <laughs> Well, your ex-boyfriend sends his regards, and I think the rest is fairly self-explanatory. I'm so sorry. I really thought if you guys went instead of me, he wouldn't be such an ass. No, it was a valid hypothesis. That was a valid hypo... What is happening to you? <laughs> really, thank you so much for going and trying. You just... Uh, you're so terrific. Why don't you put some clothes on? I'll get my purse, and dinner is on me, okay? Really? Great. Yes. Thank you. You're not done with her, are you? Our babies will be smart and beautiful. Not to mention imaginary. Okay, is everyone clear on the plan? Yes, Cuther Polly's going to wet himself, I'm gonna throw up, Sheldon's gonna run away, and you're going to die. <laughs> Can we synchronize our watches? There are four of us and one of him. Which means his triumph will be even larger. <laughs> Minstrels will write songs about him. Okay, how about this? I'll do the talking. You just stand behind me and try to look formidable.
I should have peed before we left. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Hi, Kurt. Lenny, right? I don't really go by Lenny, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> you remember Sheldon, Howard, and Raj? No. <laughs> what do you want? You don't remember me. How could he not remember me? Sheldon, not now. I remember him. <laughs> okay, here it is. Penny's in kind of a financial jam, and the money that you owe her would go a long way to solving her problems. And she sent you to get it from me? No, no, she's too proud to ask for the money. I, on the other hand, feel you should honor your debt. You do? <laughs> feel is kind of a, it's a strong word. Uh, but I just, I think it'd be a nice gesture on your part. She'll get it when she gets it. Well, there you go. Problem solved. <laughs> a successful quest. Now let's find a gas station with a clean bathroom. No, the problem isn't solved. He just blew us off. I've got it. He didn't remember me because the last time we met, I was in a Halloween costume. <laughs> Come on, Leonard, let's go. No, you can leave if you want to. I'm going to see this through. Okay. <laughs> I guess, technically, that was my fault. <laughs> I'm not leaving here without Penny's money. What happened to your backup? I don't need backup. I have right on my side. <laughs> and I'm wearing cargo shorts under my pants. <laughs> Congratulations. You may not have succeeded in getting cash, but you did secure a formal acknowledgement of the debt. Instructions are a pictographic representation of the least imaginative way to assemble these components. This right here is why Sweden has no space program. Well, it, it looks pretty good in the store. Uh, it is an inefficient design. For example, Penny has a flat screen TV, which means all, all the space behind it is wasted. We could put our stereo back there. And control it out. Run an infrared repeater, photocell here, emitter here, easy peasy. Good point. How are you going to cool it? Hey, guys, I got this. Yeah, hang on, Penny. How about fans here and here? Also inefficient and might be loud. How about liquid cool? Maybe a little aquarium pump here. Run some quarter-inch PVC. Guys, this is actually really simple. Hold on, honey. Men at work. <laughs> It comes down here. Maybe a little corrugated sheet metal as a radiator here. Uh, really? Show me where we put a drip tray, a sluice, and an overflow reservoir. Hey, if water's involved, we're gonna have to ground the crap out of the thing. Guys, it's hot in here. I think I'll just take off all my clothes. Oh, I've got it. What about if we replace panels A, B, and F and crossbar H with aircraft-grade aluminum? Oh, right, then the entire thing's one big heat sink. Perfect. Leonard, why don't you and Sheldon go down to the junkyard and pick up about six square meters of scrap aluminum? Raj and I will run down to my lab and get the oxyacetylene torch. Meet back here in an hour? Done. Got it. Okay, this place does look pretty good. Are you pretending like you don't do the exact same thing? Okay, lady. You are way out of line. <laughs> oh, I'm out of line? Yeah, you're out of line. Well, what are you going to do about it, bitch? <laughs>